What's the deal? Okay. We already we already discussed that, man. Yeah, and what you told me was I should take it as a blessing if a bigger channel works out. I said blessing. I said all we're doing is telling people to go comment on your stuff. Like, I, if you told your subscribers to go comment on our stuff, I would be happy. Like, why would I care? People comment about your stuff all the time on our stuff. I don't delete them. I don't get salty about it. Oh, let's be. Hold on. Let me let me let me get comfy. <laughs> let's let's talk about where this really started, bro. So what really started is you're hurt. From the start, you didn't get invited to the YouTubers Couples Retreat. And I understand, bro. Oh, for that. Understand. But what's crazy is the reason why you were invited is because your best friends told us, who also were invited, not to invite you guys because they didn't like you guys. They said you were the worst people ever. Now okay. you guys are friends again. So what's crazy is um, when we had 200,000 subscribers, you would tell them that you hated us. We copied your videos. You didn't rock with us. We seem like the worst people ever. Always talking shit. I said, as soon as we start blowing up, you DM me to collab. So we're the ones that only that only like to use people for clout. I'm I, I used you. I was the one I was using. No, not using. Um, but you were trying. You were trying to collab as soon as we started blowing up. But behind our backs, to your best friends at the time, were telling us uh, or were saying that you hated us. I never hated you guys, and I never said that either. I never said I hated, hated us from the jump, man. It's sad. I never did. Okay, so if I could tell I've you, heard, I've heard all the shit you've talked about us from your best friends, bro. I, I've heard, right. it, heard it all. If you choose to believe a secondhand source rather than the person's talking to you, great. But what I'm saying is, I respect you guys. I've always respected your work, and I've always said that. Okay, that's, maybe, that's, I might, that's not what I. And that's I, a. I was like, maybe I might have been, of course, I might have been annoyed when I'm back in 2017 and be like, do stupid little titles that were the same. It's comedy and prank because they know how outrageous this is. It is. It very, it's very outrageous. And like, we're literally having this argument on Instagram live, bro, because you are too immature to give me a phone call. The one thing is, is that don't ever come for our relationship because- You don't even know us. That's just crazy. Lifestyle. I just you, think it's like- it was crazy, bro. There's so many things I need to address. So yes, I'm gonna make a YouTube video about it because I'm, I'm scatterbrained right now because I got a lot going on. You say we only use people for clout when we walk in a room. Our best friends had 2,000 subscribers on YouTube and now have half a mil because we've made videos with them because the relationship was genuine. That's great. That's amazing. I never said anything. Thank you. Bye, bro. I'm, I'm talking about the relationships with my friends that you've had where it's only business only. Bro, we went on a YouTuber's retreat to make content. All the metal, that was, that was the the I'll share all the stuff. All the stuff. It was, we didn't go That's You don't know us, bro. Like, you you're literally don't know. You don't even know us. You've never met us. And you say, you say that we're the most LA people you've ever met. When that is like super offensive because you I think we're the most humble us. people ever. And I would never never be that type of person and you do not know us to say it, that it so that's super disrespectful it shows you're talking about on here anything go ahead all right yeah so i i do i do want to address the first thing the first thing about um where it all started so you said that obviously you you thought i hated you from the beginning i did not hate you i might i might have said I, I didn't think you hated us. I was told from other people that you talked massive shit about Two us. Two different people. That massive are shit separate. about us all the time. So I don't know if that's hate. I don't know where that came from. Jealousy, whatever you want to call it. I don't know why. But that's what I was told. And you Bro, say there's so much shady stuff about us. Talk, that's the reason we didn't want you. Right. We were going to invite you guys. We wanted you guys to come, but we were told okay. not to. Okay. Bro, we so glad to invite you, and this is why, because you guys are shit starters, bro. You, it's Look at shady, this. and you call us shady. All you had to do was go on your YouTube channel. If you really hated all the comments, subscribe to JD Vlogs, and block the JD word. Vlogs. Okay. That's yeah. all you had to do, bro. But instead, you hop on live to start and talk shit, because you know people are going to be interested in this And shit. what's crazy you are the one you is we would cloud, never purposely go tell people to do that to hurt your voice. I never thought that was yeah. offensive. Uh, so I apologize if that did hurt your And he, he complains about 2020. You're the one coming on Instagram live to bitch about somebody you else. You guys were in the DMs. Why couldn't you bro, have kept blah, it there? Blah, blah, blah. Right. Yeah. talking to the DMs, and it really got nowhere because he said that it, he pretty much was like the bigger you. I always do a spread positivity. Share the DMs on your Instagram. I said nothing wrong. I know. Okay. So, um... Uh, I'm sorry that you thought I hated you. I don't hate you. And I, and I wish that the contradictions and the misconceptions that we both had about each other wouldn't have been there. 
but they weren't they weren't for me because i always dm'd you back i don't know what you're talking about you if i miss one of your dm He's i'm so DM'd sorry back. Spotty. It was very like. I'm oh, sorry that I miss if I if I miss one of your DMs. I never had a thought in my head about you because I never met you, and I like to only think about people when I meet them and actually know who they are. You're over here making all these accusations. You don't even know us. You don't. I know nothing about you, bro. I we would don't never. Yo, Elijah, this, Maddie's this. Like, I know exactly. Exactly. What your last name is, bro. I know nothing about you. Exactly. So what I'm saying is with the misconceptions that we had both had from the beginning with different experiences from listening from other people, we weren't actually able to talk and actually like confront each other about the problems that we were hearing from other people. We never met. It, led us, it led us to have like this sort of like, like weird like, kind of annoyance with each other and has ended up at this point, which is still I say that it's so petty that he DM'd you that what I consider petty is coming on Instagram live and bashing someone that you've never met and saying that oh, we don't have a real relationship when this a real relationship ever. And I don't have to prove that to anyone because I don't care because right. it's my life. And you I know, know, I, 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 never know. Say that. I, I would know. never say that about you and Maddie because I've never met <laughs> you and Maddie. Whatever. I uh, like to the best about people and it's really sad that you don't. No, I, like I said, in my, in my live stream that I, I respect you guys and I want you guys to see what you're, how you're hurting and annoying other people and i want you guys to see that and change i never said that i hated you so and when you messaged me about it what did i say i would do i would tell our people not to comment on your stuff yes or no did i say that and i told you to tell me anybody else that offended so i could also say not to comment on their stuff because we never meant to and offend it yeah i never why would that offend anybody? i don't understand yeah, how that could I'm offend anyone man. we said comment on your favorite youtubers and we are not greedy. You money, Elijah. More views on your video makes you money. That does not make us any more money. So how, if, how is you? Okay, a thirty. So thirty seconds equals. Uh, is. So thirty seconds. Thirty seconds equals a view, and one comment saying subscribe to JD Vlogs it takes approximately five seconds. So that's not anything for me. I don't even care about the money. Nothing's about money or subscribers. It's the fact that you guys had to say you had to push it over everyone else, saying make us the best couple channel on YouTube saying make us the best couple channel on YouTube. It's very like- we never said make us very, the best. That's what's wrong. Is you guys, all these couple channels are in a competition. It's your videos. Other it's not supposed, no one's supposed to be the best. We're supposed to be all friends and whoever ends up with more followers is whatever. That, that, like this. We started the YouTubers retreat, which apparently we are so like whatever bad about. Or whatever. Because we're very business oriented. And it's sad that you guys actually can't like sit you down. Business. It's it's our jobs. That doesn't mean that we only do business. Do you want us just to go and party with all the YouTubers and not film videos? Like that makes no sense. Sorry, we we're not on, like that. We went on a retreat to create content. To make but YouTube you connections. Want us to go there we and went not party and only no, party. Never said party. Like, I said, I because sure. your best friends talked bad about you, and it scared us because we were like, okay, they said we will not go if they go, so we couldn't invite you guys. And see, okay, so that's what, that's on my end where I was left. And I thought that we were just for some reason being like, like just shaded. It was weird. So on my end, that's it looked like from my perspective that you guys didn't like for some other reason. Can we like, can we like back up? Can we like, we can call and talk about this like adults. Like it's sad that I had to join your Instagram live to do this. But um, like people literally, every comment is like, this is a prank, which is sad. But I, I wish, no, y'all just got pranked. I wish. Um, but okay. yeah. It's a prank, guys. <laughs> you have my phone number. Feel free to call me, bro. I just want to hop in and like, I don't really care to clear the air because everybody ha is entitled to like their own opinion. And if that's truly how you feel about us when you've never met us, I, and I, I, I don't say, know how to, I don't know how to sway your opinion differently. Because I don't like really I said, care to sway your opinion met. because at the end of the day, we're gonna be us. We're good people. Exactly. I don't have to prove that to anyone, but just don't come online and start bashing people when you've never met them because it's extremely disrespectful and rude. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. I understand where you're coming from. But what I'm saying is I'm not, I'm not like bashing you and saying- You're not bashing us. You said we are the most LA people you've right. met in your You're life right. and you've never met us. You I'm saying you guys do but, some, yeah. you guys do some passive aggressive stuff and it's not okay. <laughs> What's more passive aggressive than coming on an Instagram live and, and bashing someone? She's talking all the shit you've ever heard. We've heard so we've much heard shit about you. We've heard some stuff that we wouldn't even bring online. Thing, it would, just, it it would, would be so bad. Yeah. And we would never do the that. The last thing I would do is hop on true. IG live and start bashing somebody. Like, dude, that's... that's. What offends me the most? Like, nothing. And to come... Question our character.
fleshing our character and everything is like, like this is this is this is 2020 in so LA right here that we're fighting on Instagram Live. If you want to talk about that? Well, I don't. I'm not. I'm not trying to fight. I want to try to have some sort of like thinking that we're both coming for each other. I get that I can that you guys are very like business oriented and like really don't have a lot of like relationships with the people you collab with. That's fine. Wait, wait. You can't say that because you don't know that. Because if someone spread something, that doesn't always mean it's true. So you cannot say that. You don't know our relationships with people. Right. right. And, I'm, and I'm sorry. Dogs, yeah, see if they think that. Because that is the most absurd thing I've ever heard in my life, Elijah. Okay. And, and I'm, I think you're just okay, thank you about for, a lot. And I'm apologizing. I'm apologizing to you right now. I can call you on the phone and talk to you about it later. Yeah, let's yeah. Get yeah. Right, over let's to the phone. Because I think this that. is just ridiculous. Right. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. All right. Thanks, man. Okay, um, so as you guys can see from literally how this all happened, I was I had some misconceptions and I had some misunderstandings from sources that have been telling me other things. And obviously Josh came out here and talked to me about it. So it obviously we both, he had a misunderstanding about me and I had a misunderstanding about him. And it both led to this sort of friction and this conflict that if, if just certain things wouldn't have happened in life, this wouldn't have happened. So... And I'm not, I'm not trying to come after um, their relationship or them as people or anything like that. Um, it was just certain things that have came off to me as very selfish that I wanted to address. So I'm going to come on here and say that I'm not disrespecting them as people or relationship. It's just from the YouTube perspective, it seems kind of self-centered. Um, but I, I, I'm only speaking from my perspective. So you guys can take it for what you will. I don't hate them. I never have hated them. I, I don't hate anybody. I don't hate them at all. Um, but I, I definitely wanted to kind of address this. Um, and I'm glad he hopped on the live so we could talk about why we're both clearly upset and clearly annoyed with this whole situation. Um, so, we're going to get off here, though. Um, that was, I was just, I didn't even like expect this to happen, but, um, honestly, I don't even want to expect it. I was just kind of in my head and, uh, had a lot of like ideas that have been just told to me by a lot of different people and it all like seemed to add up to one like main behavior and attitude towards, towards them. And I apologize for not just asking you and talking to you. Um, but here we are. All right, so um, I guess I'm gonna talk to him. No, I'm not drunk. What? I'm drinking water. Like we said, we're gonna talk to it over the phone. Um, we obviously thought we both were like terrible people and we both hated each other. I, I'm, I'm not 100% like a changed man after that live. I, I definitely wanna talk to them and like, figure out, you know, like we weren't, we weren't invited to their like couple thing and that made us feel attacked for some weird reason. And it made us feel like we weren't like friends or acquaintances or even like relevant um, to be there. And so that made us feel bad towards them and they already had their pre-misconceptions about us. So you see how that can easily get twisted and we both have these two different ideas of each other that aren't from each other, they're from other people. So, um, no hate, I'm not transcending anybody, but I'm gonna get off here and um, talk to him.